Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about uh, the He-Man fandom, the He-Man fandom, something we've been talking about a little bit in the last couple days because of the announcement of the new He-Man show. Um, there's been interesting development with a He-Man fan film that has been in production for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, by someone who is on very, very friendly terms with Mattel. Uh, is a big name in the He-Man community. And uh, his... his uh, Fan film has been axed. It's been axed by the powers that be at NBC Universal. Who own DreamWorks. DreamWorks. <laughs> so just point that out so, there. So we're going to talk about that in this episode of Clownfish TV and uh, some, uh, you know, I guess what the implications are of these companies owning all of these uh, IPs and and kind of squashing fan films, fan games. This happens more and more often now. But yeah, we get fan fix like she and the Princess of Power, and that's okay. Well, it's it's canonical. It, it is. So uh, before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. We hit 50,000 subs this week. We're hoping to hit 50,000 more by the end of the year. That would be awesome if we could hit 100,000. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to us. I don't know if it can happen but you guys have been great so this uh, i was actually made aware of this by some folks on twitter who tweeted at me last night and i do apologize i don't have twitter pulled up right now but uh, thank you very much uh to those of you who did send it out this is coming from well serial geek 77 who's actually james etock uh james etock is a a uh he-man super fan mm -hmm. i mean not just like hey this guy really likes he-man but this guy is a massive massive fan they pick his brain for uh projects like official masters of the universe uh guides and handbooks and i mean he has worked on uh the dvd liner notes he is he's a massive yeah, so it's not like he's Massive some fan. rando who they don't know about, you know, because they would have known he was working on this for a while. It wasn't like it's a new thing. They would have known about it. Yeah, so he worked on all the DVDs for Filmation, Ghostbusters, Brave Star, Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, yeah, this guy's a huge 80s cartoon fan. And he has a really cool shirt. He does have a cool shirt. I do like that shirt. Um, So he's been, yeah, he's working on uh, stuff with IDW. He's not just some rando off the street. Right. He's um, well known. Very well known. They would have known he was working on this. Con right. Yeah, continue. He's saying uh, continue. It's my new shirt. Continue. Continue. Okay. Please continue. So he just found out yesterday, I believe, that his fan film, this is uh, uh, The Return of Faker, which I actually, I'm going to put a link to part of it. You can go out and find it on Vimeo. I don't think it's on YouTube, but it is as close. I was saying it looks just like the original show. It does. It. I watched a couple minutes of it. It looks like an actual filmation episode of He-Man, but it's actually produced by uh, James Etock, and they shut it down. It was too good, I guess. Of course they, they shut, shut it down. down. So he they made wish this, they were that good. Yeah, I know. They made this announcement, uh, or he made this announcement on his Instagram yesterday. He said, it's one of the hardest announcements he's ever had to make. After three years of intense production, three years. And they waited until he completed it, too. They would have known he was doing this. Yeah. And they waited until it's completed. And he yeah. put all the time, money, and effort into it. And then. Yep. The return of Faker has been blocked by NBC Universal and will never be shown anywhere. Video clips, production content, and the movie itself are never to be shown publicly, hence why it was not shown at PowerCon. So PowerCon was year. aware of it. PowerCon knew he was doing it, and you know, they're in like fun. So they it's not like it's a new thing that people didn't know about. They knew. Look, PowerCon presents He Man. They knew. They knew. And and they wait until it's finished and, and the that's all clips from it? Yeah. That looks like Yeah, it looks like it looks like Filmation just fired what's Filmation presents. Well, yeah, he even put the tag in the beginning and it, this is awesome. it's I think he uses some of the stock footage from film you know, they had a lot of the animation, but it's I watched a couple minutes of it. I'm sure it'll be taken away, but yeah, he was going they had a panel last year. They were going to premiere it, I guess. They were going to premiere it this year. The so finished they've, product. they've known. They've known. They've it's known. not like they just now we're aware of it. So they're trying to stop it. No, they waited until he was completely done with it. And that's when they stopped it. Yeah, he even said, and again, James E. Talk has connections to the powers that be at Mattel. Mm -hmm. um, he's worked on so many official He-Man projects over the years. They absolutely knew about this. Well, um, the, pe the people that, you know, matter, uh, Mattel knew about it. And, you know, I'm sure yeah. the people that, that blocked it knew about it, too. And how dare you? How dare you make us look bad? So he said for the time being, it was an unofficial fan cartoon. They were hoping when it was completed, it'll be supported officially and distributed accordingly as, as sort of a, even if it was a bonus on a, a He-Man Blu-ray set, here's mm -hmm. a fan film that looks just like a Filmation episode. 
<laughs> Maybe they should have hired him to do the new show. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. Okay. So they blocked it. NBC Universal again uh, owns DreamWorks, right. they're the parent company. They blocked. But they have, it. but why do they have a right to block a He-Man project? Well, because they have uh, distribution rights to the filmation videos. Oh. So because oh, probably it looks too good because they might be using some of the uh, some of the music which they were they were using the actual filmation music because of that that's probably why they're blocking it. Uh, James Etox says I hope that NBC Universal eventually take it off our hands and release it in an official capacity. We thank fans for their enduring support, PowerCon, for allowing us to show the project's development over the last three years. So three it's years. not new. They were there when this was being shown and talked about. They knew, but they waited until now to stop. Well, it. because they're putting out the new Blu-ray sets with, mm -hmm. you know, NBC Universal's putting them out. And to our friends and family who have looked forward to seeing this project become a reality. We don't want to end on a sour note, so let's hope that one day fans will be treated to the return of Faker because we truly believe that what we're created is something very, very special. I only I saw a few minutes you. of it. And it was amazing. It looked it like looks. a brand new filmation episode. It, I mean, everything was right. It was right. Um, How dare you? You, they, you can't have things be right because if things are right, then that means she run the princesses of power aren't right. And we can't have that. <laughs> so as these corporations swoop in and buy up all of our beloved uh, geek properties, you know, Disney did it with Star Wars and there's been a lot of, uh, you know, issues with Disney. Disney shutting down fan films. You know, Lucasfilm re reverted a decision um, by Star Wars Theory, but they did a, a fan film. And we've had this happen on multiple occasions. Uh, fan games being shut mm -hmm. down. Now, to be fair, though, I mean, I'm just being fair and playing the devil's advocate here. Um, they don't own the IPs. These companies do own the IPs. They could argue that it's causing, it's, it, there's a financial gain for these people to be made off of their IP. Mm. And, you know, and, and if that doesn't jive with what their, you know, planned, you know, canon or whatever is, that it could cause brand confusion. So, I mean, um, I'm just using the words I know they would use. So, I mean, to be fair, they do have grounds to do it since you said they're releasing the DVDs is probably why they're doing it. But the fact that they let this go this long, they would have known for a year or more they were going to do these DVD sets. They would have known. They could have They could have done something sooner than this. Wait, not wait until the dude has it completed to do this. That was just that was just really crappy thing to do. It really was. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it was. Um, and again, I think it's because of the Blu-ray uh, releases. But these companies, they don't think like that. And they've got, you know, lawyers. I mean, look, it could also be it could also be that, uh, you know, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. And you've got, you know, the, the legal team just going out there and being like, oh, we have to shut this down. Yeah, because they make money from, you know, the get Blu paid to fight. So people aren't going to watch his single episode fan film on YouTube or wherever it's distributed and be like, oh, because I, I can watch this for free. I'm not going to go buy the right. set of the official... This might actually make people go buy the set because they like this so much and it's so close. They might like this. Oh, this is really cool. I'm, I'm going to go watch the original show. I didn't know how cool it was. You know what I mean? This actually could have helped. What would have been a, a huge selling point, again, for the, the Blu-rays is like, look, we're releasing the entire series on Blu-ray and we've got a brand new He-Man episode. And I think that's what he was hoping yeah, for. Yeah, and it would, it would have helped. Like, we're, we're supporting the fandom. You have such a bad rep right now with the fandom, especially Universal, NBC, and DreamWorks. You already have such a bad, uh, you know, feeling with the fandom of She-Ra because of stuff you pulled and the way you've painted people who are original fans of He-Man and She-Ra via the media into bad, in a bad light. This could have done some uh, damage control. This could have rebuilt some bridges, you know, and you just... Yeah. You just made it worse. You only had, you had a fire on the bridge, and now you threw kerosene on it, a few sticks of dynamite, and everything else. It's just make it worse. You just made it worse. Way to go. That's what these companies do. They don't, yeah. Make, way to go for make it worse. Tiny round of uh, tiny applause. Uh, yeah, they don't understand how much damage they do. I mean, DreamWorks, again, we don't know if it's actually somebody at DreamWorks or somebody that, you know, hired Goon, but they were sniping all of our she videos. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, Literally, we weren't even showing footage, uh, footage with audio or anything, and they were waiting. They were triggered. They were waiting right there for us. And eventually, they knocked it off because YouTube said, "No, this is completely fair use." Right. You know, they're they're just they're reviewing episodes or reviewing trailers. Didn't stop us either. We would just no. turn around to another one and just not put the stuff in it, which we weren't allowed to put things in it, which isn't fair because meanwhile, other people were doing the reviews with the footage in it, and they were allowed. Yeah. So if you're a friendly media outlet. 
you know, with DreamWorks and, and Universal, if you were uh, friendly to do Shira, they would absolutely let you do a trailer reaction, use the full trailer with, you know, but if you were critical, they would shut you down and try to demonetize you and try to. Well, no, no, other people were allowed to. It was just me that wasn't allowed. It to. was us. We were on the radar. But in this case, James Etock has been one of the biggest, most vocal, huge, huge uh, uh, cheerleaders for He-Man, for classic He-Man, for so many years. To to shut him down like this is not a good look. Mm -mm. This is not going to go well in the community. And again, it's just another example of when these corporations come in and they basically buy our childhood, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, they, they do bring with them different rules. You know, George Lucas himself loved fan films. Yes, he did. I was just going to bring that. I was going to bring that up earlier. He, he let them do it. Comics, films, whatever. Yeah. He had no problem with it because he's like, well, they're not monetizing it. I don't care. Yeah. They're not making money off it. It's actually promoting. It's giving him free promotion. Of course, it's a good deal, you know, and it helps the fans, keeps them happy. Right. And, uh, he, and he knows the fans, you know, they're the ones that support Star Wars. Right. You want them to come back. Yo, but that all changed when Disney came in and brought their lawyers in and they've shut down many projects, but it's been other, other companies too. Uh, you know, fan games, uh, for example, Sega has been pretty notorious. They've shut down, they shut down a streets of rage, uh, fan game again. I don't think there was any commercial, you know, intention there. Um, they shut down, I believe a few years ago, a, uh, a fancy star remake. People are going to remake one of the fancy star games. They shut that down. Square has shut down games before they were going to remake chrono trigger they shut that down um i think what it is is part of it is sometimes the fan products make the official products look bad i think so too but they also have to understand if it's their brand and they have a certain way they want to go with it they don't want things that are going to that could possibly go against their brand you know what i mean yeah. their canon but if you're not making any money at it what difference does it make i mean if you're out there selling it of course they're going to stop you i mean obviously they're going to stop you because you should be making money off of something you don't own but if you're not making money off of it i don't see what the problem is yeah in this case again this is a different this is a different situation okay this is this is my feeling on this is a different situation because he has done so much official work and maybe that maybe that was actually part of the problem maybe he had a target on his back because they knew exactly who he was mm -hmm. um they were afraid that people would conflate his fan film with an official film because he's worked on so many official that could projects. be that could be but they what gets me on this is they knew about it so it's not like they just found out and shut it down they knew this whole time and they wait till now yeah he's even doing he's even doing videos on the official he-man channel that's what i'm saying this doesn't you make know? any sense why now why didn't you stop it when he you know wasn't you know or why why didn't you talk to him about it first why didn't you say hey maybe we can reach some kind of agreement here you know why why now why when it's done why do you wait till it's effing done i mean how stupid are you that they should look so bad like if you hadn't done that if you worked with him if you like you said put it on the dvds yeah you know which would have been a really or let him go out there but then you you could run it as long as you're promoting the dvds free advertising yeah Again, yeah, they got the money from the video views and they get the advertising. I mean, why? what's the problem? Yeah, put it on the official channel, you know? Oh, yeah, um, that. Yeah, there you go. You know, then they get the ad revenue from it. Right, and it's promoting, it's promoting, and look how cool this is. Now, we want to watch the original. This could have been a great way to, to, you know, bridge the gap with the fandom, to make some money, to promote your upcoming DVDs, and you did this. I just yeah. don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. So, you know, again, the fans are not happy. They said it's unbelievable. It makes me worry about the the reboot when NBC Universal misunderstands their fans as much. Uh, and again, it's just this is not a normal. This is kind of like with Star Wars Theory too, when you have a known spokesperson being shut down so hard. And it also kind of to me sends a signal to me, you know, as as someone who you know we've worked with brands before, yes. be like, can you trust these companies? You know, they're your best friends now, but who knows a year from now, they might just shut down everything you're doing. And he said that he didn't have an, he was hoping for an official sponsorship. I can't think that he didn't think there was some indication of that for him to mention that. And I can't think that he would spend all his time with it if he thought there was going to be a problem. I mean, yeah. you can't, I don't think he did. You can't, you had to have asked somebody, you know what I mean? I can't think you would put all his time and energy into it, but he never asked anyone. Yeah, I'm sure he. I'm sure he did, uh, and they, they knew that. It's been, it's been, yeah, it's been a power con for the last like three or four years. They knew, uh, and somebody even tagged Kevin Smith into it. I don't think Kevin Smith has anything to do with this. I don't think the team making the new show has anything to do with this. No, I think they should have hired his guy. Yeah, I think they're strictly bean counters uh, looking at this. It could be their their home video division worried about sales. Who knows? But whatever whatever happened, 
this is a huge mistake. Well, I wonder if they're going to, you know, give them a few days and they're going to reverse the decision or something. Well, I have it with uh, Star Wars. That's what I'm wondering. If people complain about it, because right now He-Man has the news right now. I mean, as much as a lot of media blogs hate and they want to make it about She-Ra. He-Man has, you know, a lot of weight in the news right now because everybody's waiting to see what's going on with the new movie and the show. So, you know, this is the wrong time to do it because people are searching He-Man. They're going to come across this, you know. Maybe they, they'll have to reverse it just because it looks bad. It does look bad. So uh, personal opinions, I think they need to, they need to, you know, do something. Even if they, even if they just took it themselves and said, okay, fine, we'll let it be released, but we're putting it on our YouTube channel. So we get the ad revenue, some kind of arrangement like that. Cause this, this needs to be seen. I saw a couple minutes of it. And if you had not told me differently, I would have thought it was a lost episode of the filmation show. That's awesome. It's, it's that good. So it needs to be released. I agree. Free it. Free faker. Free, free faker. faker. Free faker. Hashtag free faker. All right. So are we going to wrap this one up? Yes. Okay. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. This has been Yun and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.